Hi, I'm Chris Weber from Blue Coat Systems, and I'm going to show how the speed, power, and flexibility of Blue Coat Reporter 9.1 can help HR professionals ensure employee compliance with corporate acceptable use policy. Now, of course, this is just one of a number of scenarios where the information and power of Reporter can help make smart business decisions. As you can see, we're on our customizable dashboard in Reporter 9.1. This dashboard can be customized by simply dragging and dropping any of the reports that you see here, clicking Edit to change the information that we see, clicking the X to get rid of that report entirely, or adding any number of reports by choosing from the list of built-in reports that we ship with Reporter 9.1, or creating custom reports and adding them that way. I mentioned that we were going to put our HR hat on here and take a look at uh, employee behavior. Let's take a look at Christopher Lewis here. It looks like he's been online over 11 days out of the last 30 days. Let's see what he's been up to. When I click Christopher Lewis, we'll see a series of reports that help me understand what his behavior has been like and where he's been going, what he's been up to, uh, so that we can make some informed decisions on whether or not, as an HR person, we need to have a discussion with Christopher. Now, the first thing I notice is in the Sites box, we can see that the lion's share of Christopher's web use has been related to mail.google.com. Now, we all know that when you have Google Mail open, even if it's in the background, it's automatically fetching information, trying to make sure that your inbox is up to date all the time. So, it's not that Christopher Lewis has been out actively surfing the web instead of doing his job. He may just simply have Google Mail open because he checks it a couple of times a day for personal messages, and then minimizes that browser window uh, until he checks it again. Now there's nothing wrong with that and it's not against our corporate acceptable use policy and in fact further substantiating that we can see that Christopher has not been denied any of his web requests by our content filter. Now since the content filter is built by our administrators to match our corporate acceptable use policy we can be sure now that he's not done anything out of the ordinary or anything that we don't want him to do. Christopher Lewis doesn't need to have a discussion with HR. It's this level of detail that let us know that. If we do want to see folks that maybe are getting denied their web requests based on categorization that we've chosen for them not to be able to view, let's take a look at blocked web browsing per user. And when I pull this up, I'm going to see all of the users that have been denied their web requests based on our policy. Now, here's the list of those folks. We can see right away, it looks like Ethan Henry here has 754 requests that have been blocked by our content filters. Have, he's been denied his request. Let's take a look at where he's trying to go so that when we have our discussion with Ethan, we can be targeted and understand what he's been trying to do. Here's the list of sites. We could uh, get a full report to get more of them, and we could export those to PDF, print them out, and have them on file at any time. Now, I mentioned that the dashboard is customizable. If we think this block web browsing per user report is something that we're going to want to see from an HR perspective, we can add it to our dashboard very simply by finding that report and clicking it. Now, if I want it to be more prominent on the page, I can grab my block web browsing per user report and simply drag it up to the center of the page. Maybe I want it on the top. That way, when HR folks log in based on their role, now they'll see the web browsing per user and the block web browsing per user right away so they can make more informed decisions. This simple example assumed that we were looking at Reporter 9.1 from an HR perspective, but it's this power and flexibility that allow operations people, IT folks, to make smart, informed business decisions.